It's your boy Titan Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you guys want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. Also, ask that you guys smash that like button, drop a comment in the comment section, letting me know what you think of today's video, today's sneaker, and also sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now today we're taking a look at a sneaker. It released overseas a couple of months ago, but there is no release date for here in the United States. So this is an early review for us in the United States. Uh, all this shoe all go. Shout out to Uncle Billy Go. I put it in the bid. I took the bid, very reasonable price. So we're gonna look at that on today. Here's the box. All black box flight in the red lettering. Actually, it looks more like infrared 23 when I compare it to other reds on Jordan boxes. But this is all you get flight on the top. Let's go ahead and read that uh, box label. It says Air Jordan 4 Retro SE Color Amethyst Wave Bright Crimson size 14 and uh i'm not sure what the price was the retail price in euros flip the uh top lid there's no uh live stamping here here's my authentication card from uncle billy goat I had to reach out to goat shout out to them pass everything and of course they give you a goat sticker sit that aside and you have your paper, splatter paper, like you've been getting in your Jordan 4s. And the inside of the box lid actually matches the sneaker. Speaking of the sneaker, here we go. We have the Air Jordan Retro Full. But in the sneaker world, we call these the Zen Master. The Zen Master is Phil Jackson's nickname. If you don't know who Phil Jackson is, He's one of these legendary head coaches from the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers. He coached NBA greats like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, and Shaquille O'Neal. He won 11 titles as a coach. He also has a couple as a player with the New York Knicks. He was on that team with uh, Willis Reed and those guys. And uh, that politician, I can't think of his name, Bill Bradley, yeah. He played for the New York Knicks as well with Phil Jackson. But the Zen Masters is nickname. Allegedly, he uh, got this nickname because of his Buddhism or something like that. But that just was out there in the sneaker world. And there's a picture circulating with Phil Jackson had on a pair of retro for the bread colorway. So they created this. And they said that was the inspiration for this sneaker. And the material on here is different, but the print is like a uh, the print is like a mixture of of a few things. It's like a tie dye looking print, or you can say it's bleached. But the colors are like a purple and a pink and white mixed. But that's what it looks like. It's a different sneaker, you know. I'm out there with these colors. I like these different things. But you got your uh, translucent wing extender on here. You got your black case with that uh, purple background on it. Midsole, you got a polyutherane midsole with the black and your tech gray. is an encapsulated uh, air system in here and it's exposed to the back with the uh, air bubble, clear air bubble. Look closely on the inside. It may be that faded purple colorway. You got a hit of white right there. And gonna look at the outsole. You have your herringbone traction on here. Going a couple different directions. You got the white hit here, tech gray here, white there, infrared 23 color jump, Jordan jump man, excuse me. And you got the black at the heel and the toe got your stars on your toe everything lined up like it's supposed to be and looking at the heel of the sneaker you got a translucent jordan heel tab black jordan jump man 
looking at the medial side of the sneaker pretty much just like the lateral side you got that print i'm pretty sure no two sneakers are alike in these you have your translucent wing extender hits and your uh, polyutherane midsole the encapsulated air system on here and the uh clear bubble in the back and a closer look at the material canvas like material you gotta make sure uh you check the weather forecast before you step out with these because I'm not sure what'll happen if rain or uh, liquid will get on these. Would it affect the print? Not sure, but I'm not trying to find out either. That's why I'm gonna treat these with some crepe or something before I step out with these. You got your black uh, netting system going up to like right here. And goodness gracious, they strung the hell out of these. These came from the factory, laced this daggone tight. You got your black flat laces. They also came with these purplish looking laces. I'm probably gonna stick with the black because of uh, that purplish looking color. I'm just not feeling. And you have a black woven patch to the top with a, uh, I call it the infrared 23 colorway. It's not red, it's infrared 23, just like the uh, colorway on the infrared Jordan 4s. I do have a review for that. You can go watch that after you finish watching this video if you like to see that. And you have flight in that purplish looking colorway and it's stitched on. Looking at the back of the tongue, Jordan Air Jordan upside down, black woven patch. You got your black uh, sock liner looking all around, black sock liner. And let's see, can we get a good look at that sizing tag? Here you go, US size 14, production date, November of last year to uh, February of this year. So, got like three months of production with these. And uh, also comes with your uh, cardboard shoe tree. Size 1314 Jordan Jumpman logo on here, and on the inside it says molded sock liner. And also, here goes the insert an infrared 23 insert. This is bright, got this little sticker on here, and you have the black Jordan Jumpman. This is the bottom of it. First time seeing this color uh, insert. He's how I got it from goat, the goatapp.com. So this wraps up the video. Let me know what y'all think of the Air Jordan Retro 4 SE Zen Masters. Not sure if they're gonna ever reach the US, but as of the time of recording this video, these are not set to release in the US. So if you want to get a pair, you probably have to reach out to GOAT as well. I wouldn't trust that uh the people that draw up the X don't trust those guys. Or you can see, maybe you can get a pair off of eBay. They do offer authentication, but I'm gonna wrap up the video. But before I go, like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know. It will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack, signing out.